What's up guys? So I've decided to make a compilation of all the best city tweaks and apps out there. Basically, every time I come across a cool new tweak, or if I get a suggestion from you guys, my viewers, I'll make a video review about it and add it to my collection of the best city tweaks of 2013. So to kick things off, I'll be doing a review of Multi-Icon Mover. Multi-Icon Mover is a great tweak that lets you do exactly what the name says, move multiple icons at once. This is especially helpful if you're setting up a new iPhone and all of your apps got synced over and are completely disorganized. Rather than spend like 40 hours moving each icon one by one, just hold down one of the icons to enter wiggle mode, tap all of the icons that you want to move, swipe over to the destination screen, and press the home button. And voila, all of your apps are right there. With all that time that you saved, you can go outside and enjoy the beauty of nature. Or turn on the TV, which is what I did. But anyways, so this obviously works, you know, with multiple apps, but of course you can do it with one app at a time, and I still think that's faster than, you know, holding and dragging from screen to screen. Um, the only downside to this is that you can't uh, transfer apps to or from folders. So if I'm in a folder, you can see that I can't highlight anything to move it. So that's the only downside, but it's still a great tweak, and it'll save you a lot of time and money because it's free. So go install it today. You can find it in the Big Boss repo, and again, it is called Multi-Icon Mover, and it is free. If you were ever jealous of your Android friends, huh, there's something you don't hear every day. If you were jealous of their cool pattern unlock, say goodbye to that green-eyed monster and say hello to Android Lock XT. This tweak allows you to unlock your device simply by drawing a pattern and connecting the dots. It's a fun and still secure way of protecting your phone. However, if you're someone who is really concerned about the security of your device, you might want to stick to the default iOS alphanumeric passcode option. If we go into the settings, you'll see a number of options that you can customize. First is this toggle to obviously either enable or disable the pattern lock. Next, you have the option of changing your pattern. This is where you'll set the pattern that you want to use to unlock your phone. Okay, don't judge. I know that was a terrible pattern. I was keeping it simple for demonstration purposes, so don't hate. Although I guess haters gonna hate, so fine, go ahead and hate. Here you can change the appearance. You can change it from a slide to unlock to tap to unlock, or you could have nothing and it will just show you the dots right to begin with. You can also choose whether or not you want to show the camera button, and you can customize the slide to unlock text to say whatever you want. Here you can change the theme. By default, it's set to no theme. My personal favorite is Android Lock HQ. Just has a really nice look to it, but you could also do Pac-Man if you really wanted to. If you go into change behavior, the first thing you'll notice is that the developer must be British because he spelled behavior with a U. More importantly, you'll see some important settings that you can change. When error on wrong pattern is enabled, if you put the wrong pattern in, the dots will turn red to indicate that you failed. When it's off, the dots will disappear and you'll have to try again. Here you can choose when you want the pattern required after locking your device, either immediately after locking it, a minute later, five minutes later, so on and so forth. You can also change how many wrong attempts to accept before disabling input for 30 seconds. Insecure mode does pretty much exactly what it says. If you have an iOS alphanumeric passcode set as well, Bypass Passcode will let you skip the alphanumeric passcode and unlock your device with just the pattern. It's good to have an alphanumeric password set up though, because if your phone boots into safe mode, the pattern lock will be disabled, but you'll still have the alphanumeric passcode to prevent unauthorized access. Lastly, you can disable the pattern unlock when you are connected to a specific Wi-Fi network. Your device is probably free from privacy invaders when you're at home, so put in your home Wi-Fi network and you can save yourself two seconds when unlocking your phone in your safe haven. And that is Android Lock XT. You can download it from the Big Boss repo for $1.49. iOS 6 Colorful Status Bar is a very simple tweak that utilizes Winterboard to do exactly as its name suggests. Add some color to the status bar. Well, I guess the name could be a little misleading. While it doesn't actually change the color of the status bar itself, it adds color to all of the status bar icons. Normally, all of the icons are just white. With this tweak, your signal strength bars become blue, Wi-Fi icon becomes blue, airplane mode icon turns orange, you get an orange sync icon, pinkish orientation lock icon, purple location icon, yellow clock icon, blue Bluetooth icon, and a green battery icon, amongst other things. Almost any icon that shows up in the status bar gets colored. There are a few exceptions. As you can see here, there's still a little white icon in my status bar. It tells me the battery of my Jambox. It's kind of annoying actually. But anyways, make sure you install iOS 6 Colorful Status Bar today. You can find it for free in the Mod My Eye repo.
Here's a quick look at a great little Cydia tweet called AppSend. Whenever you download an app from the App Store, you get that little blue progress bar indicating the download's installation progress. While it does get the job done, it's not very clear. Cue AppSend. AppSend shows you the progress of your download as a percentage just beneath the app, giving you a much more precise look at the progress. It's a nifty little tweak that adds some useful functionality, and more importantly, it's free. There are no settings to configure, it just works automatically. So be sure to install AppSent today. You can find it in the ModMy iRepo for free. Here's another awesome must-have Cydia tweak. It's called Fast Copy. You probably haven't noticed it before, but there is a slight delay when trying to bring up the action menu to copy and paste. Fast Copy removes that delay to make the menu open much quicker. See the difference? Make sure you install Fast Copy today. You can find it for free in the Big Boss repo. Does your status bar ever get crowded with a billion different icons? Sometimes so much so that the battery percentage disappears? How annoying is that? I hate that. Why the heck would the percentage disappear and leave behind the useless battery icon? Personally, I feel like the stupid icon should disappear and leave behind the percentage. Bolt is a simple tweak that does just that. It removes the space-wasting battery icon, leaving you with just the percentage. Honestly, why would you need both? The percentage gives you the exact amount and the icon just takes up space. Oh, and when your device is plugged in and charging, you'll get a little thunderbolt icon in the top right corner to let you know that your device is charging. It's simple, effective, and for me, a must-have. Make sure you install Bolt today. You can find it for free in the Big Boss repo.